Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar is the founder of the modern constitutional India. When he embraced Buddhism on 14th October 1956, he went back to the great tradition of India, which also influenced the region known as Vidarbha today. And that's where Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar converted to Buddhism. The Nagas dominated the Vidarbha. That's why even today the Vidarbha is called Naga Vidarbha. This is from a motif found in the city of Pauni where the Nagas are protecting the feet of Buddha. And this is an inscription which states that the king donated the Buddha Pada or the footprints of the Buddha. The Emperor Ashoka visited Vidarbha several times according to some of the archaeologists and there is an inscription about Ashoka's principles of governance. This inscription was found in a place called Devtek in Nagabhir where Ashoka is asking his citizens, is requesting them to protect all the animals. This is an, another inscription written by the great Saka king known as Rumi Amma. Just about 35 kilometers away from the city of Nagapur, there is a famous site today known as Mansar, according to the Buddhist philosopher Revanand Kawade, who wrote in 1956 that Nagapur is named after the great Buddhist philosopher Nagarjuna and it was the city dominated by the Nagas, that's why it was called Nagapur. In the 1990s, the archaeological excavation was conducted at the site of Mansar and a great stupa was revealed beneath the earth mound. These findings gave a very different color to the history of Buddhism in Vidarbha and one can say that Vidarbha has the continuous history of Buddhism for many, many, many centuries. पहनाया गया है यहाँ पर एक पट्टा बांधा गया है जो कि इसकी विशेष पहचान है ये रेतीले लाल पत्थर पे तारा की मूर्ति है जहाँ पर कि उसके बाएं तरफ के कान में एक गोल ठोस कुंडल है ये एक ही कान में होता है दूसरे कान में नहीं होता और इनका केश विन्यास बहुत ही सुंदर तरीके से दर्शाया गया है सामने का हिस्सा खंडित हो गया है ये खंडित अवस्था में बुद्ध की मुखाकृति है जिनके कान सॉरी जिनके हाँ इस अवस्था में है ये बुद्ध के मुंह के ये जिस इनके कान दिखाए गए हैं एक कान में बहुत एक कान ही सुरक्षित है जिसके कान में बहुत लंबा कुंडल दिखाया गया है जो यहाँ पर बंद होता है ये बुद्ध की मूर्ति में विशेष कर पाई जाती है मुंह खंडित अवस्था में ये भी रेतीले लाल पत्थर पे है
This is the Vijasan in Bhadravati. The place is named as Vijasan because it was inscribed on the stones that the name of this place is Vijasan and it was the site of great Buddhist learning in the past. It is just 90 kilometers away from the city of Nagpur. The site was found in a destructed state and some of the renovations have been conducted by the authorities here. These are the Buddhist bronze sculptures found at Hamlapuri near Nagardhan Ramtek district of Nagapur in 1980. The Sanghati of the Buddha is wrapped to cover the shoulders which turn over the arm while the other end of the drapery is wrapped over the left arm. The cloth of the Buddha are thin, Buddha's right hand in Abhay Mudra is free so that contemporary drapery cling to the right side of the body contours. This is just 40 kilometers away from the city of Nagpur where these images were found. These images display the artisan's love for the details and the way these bronze images of the Buddha are crafted indicate that there was a development of the metallurgy in this area and that was the high point of the art in this region of Nagavidarbha. These are the caves located in the Patur village in the Akola district. It is the cluster of many caves carved in a single mountain which had inscription which is now wiped out. This site is located in the center of Maharashtra. Even today one can witness the grandiose of the period during which the Buddhism flourished in Vidarbha area from the time of the Buddha to many centuries in the common era.
This is a singular Buddhist cave located about 25 kilometers away from Nagapur in a place called Bhuyar on the Amravati Road. The stupa at Bhon is an architectural monument. This great stupa was discovered in a farm and the site was excavated according to the archaeologists and the historians. Xuan Zhang visited Bhon when he arrived in India and he recorded presence of a big monastery in this region of Vidarbha. This is in the Buldhana district of Naga Vidarbha. The excavation in Adam, the place which is located in Kuhimandal, the seal of Nagpur district, where the Buddhist stupa was excavated and many interesting findings were discovered in this area of Vidarbha along with the inscriptions and the Buddhist images and symbols. This is an inscription found around the area of Adam. This is a 3rd century BC inscription and according to the archaeologist this might be an important city of the Asak region. This is the Kughara caves located in the surrounding area of the Adam Buddhist complex. Bhukund Buddhist Caves is a complex of five Buddhist caves. Three of them are located nearby and two of them are located just around a kilometer distance. These are the Buddhist caves located in Salbardi in the Morshi Taluka of Amravati district. These caves are ancient and they can be easily date back to the ancient area. Today these caves are vandalized but the local Buddhists have tried to keep the glory of the place alive by keeping the statue of the Buddha inside these caves. Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, who wrote the history of India from the point of view of the majority, has discovered that the Indian history has a conflict between the Nagas and the Aryans. And the Nagas were the rulers of this country and they founded the big empires in India. That was the reason the Nagpur was chosen for convergent ceremony when Dr. Baba Sambedkar embraced Buddhism with his followers to revive the great heritage and tradition of the Nagas of the past. <laughs>